Non-occupying co-borrowers, we get this a lot. Can I get a co-signer? Yes, you can. Now, let's talk about what goes into co-signing, all right? We get this one a lot. The borrower um, that's coming in to co-sign, it's just called co-signing, but that borrower is just as liable as the main borrower. All right, that's one thing right up front. Understand that. If you're co-signing for a mortgage, you are liable for that mortgage, just like you co-sign for a vehicle payment, student loan, whatever it is, right? You're liable for that mortgage. That's part one, okay? Part two is you can't pick and choose what you wanna take from that co-signer. You can't say, hey, my credit's not good, but I make a lot of money. <clears throat> I'm bringing in my mom as a co-signer. She, uh, she makes $700 social security income, but she has an 840 credit score. All right, we're proud of our credit score, okay? But that's not going to matter. You bring the two together, it's treated just as a, 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 a married, a joint uh, application, married, uh, you know, wife, husband, whatever, okay? That co-borrower comes in, that credit score is brought into the, the, um, into the application, but we're still gonna lend on the lowest credit score, all right? We're still gonna lend on the lowest credit score of the two, all right? Well, they're, they have great credit, but they're self-employed. Well, we're gonna use it. If they take a loss on their income, we're gonna use that. They, have, they, they make a lot of money, but also they got a lot of debt. Well, that money income they're bringing over is also bringing over the debt. Their credit and the borrower's credit become one and they go off the lowest credit score of the two. Same with their income. Their income here, here, I'm like over here looking at this all the time. This is your co-borrower. They come together, boom, income is joint, all right? There's no separation of credit, income, assets, et cetera, all right? They all come together. So if you're out there looking for a co-signer and you know they have bad credit but they make good money, it's not gonna be a good fit. You can try, I definitely recommend you trying, but understand, you cannot avoid the bad parts of that applicant because they're considered a co-signer, all right? But we do not occupy co-borrowers all the time. Parent wants to help the kid, the, uh, an aunt that's willing to help out with somebody, the, the son that's willing to help out with their parents or their friend or whatever. Uh, they live in Wisconsin, but they're going to help someone buy a home here. We do co-signers all the time, all right? So they are definitely doable. I was just going to try to give you a little... The pros and cons of it, okay, on the co-signers. Anything we can do to help, let us know. Four three. Oh, I almost gave, forgot to give my area code. 239-437-4278. Don't forget, we can lend in a lot of different states. Let me see if I can name them. Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Indiana, Michigan. I'm fading. Pennsylvania and Illinois. Did I get them all? California. Yeah, thank you, Ashley. California. How can I forget? All right, y'all. Take care. Anytime we need help with your mortgage needs, let us know. Thanks.